power to the people. There has been an uproar from crypto community on social media, from Twitter to Reddit to YouTube, concerning the recent update by Leisure, a hardware wallet manufacturer on its new firmware update 2.2.1. The whole concept of cryptocurrencies is built based on security, trustlessness, and having government entities at bay from reaching your funds. The new firmware update, Ledger Recover, which is to be deployed on Ledger Nano X, will enable your private keys to be encrypted and being shared into three parts. This is totally okay, as it will bolster the security feature. However, the uproar came when the community realized these shared encryptions will be stored between three different entities, Ledger, CoinCover, and EscrowTech. Who on crypto space wouldn't fear? when they get to realize their private keys will be on the hands of some private entity out there. You? Ledger Recover is a subscription service that allows users to utilize an additional layer of protection for their private keys. The service employs a technique where the user seed phrases is divided into three encrypted fragments each sent to different external entities, that is Ledger, CoinCover, and EscrowTech. Once these fragments are combined and decrypted, they can be used to reconstruct the original seed phrase. The feature requires KYC registration, that is, users have to send a picture of a government-issued ID to complete the process. That's so absurd. Put in mind, in December 2020, the physical addresses of 270,000 Ledger owners were stolen with this following another security breach in July 2020. The hackers shared the information for free on a forum. Hackers used this information to target victims in an extortion campaign. One of the major concerns is based on what the CEO said. Pascal Gauthier, the CEO of Ledger, suggested on May 22nd that wallet keys stored via Ledger Recover could be disclosed in the event of government sanctions. In a podcast, members suggested that governments could issue a subpoena for tax reasons, as the Internal Revenue Service IRS previously subpoenaed Coinbase in order to obtain customer data. The IRS has in fact subpoenaed several crypto firms including Kraken and Circle for user information. Gauthier insisted that Ledger does not have information that is of interest to the IRS. Mudit Gupta, the Chief Information Security Officer at Polygon Labs shared, The problem here is not splitting the key in three parts. That's actually good. I may or may not be doing that personally as well. The problem here is that the encrypted keys parts are sent to three corporations and they can reconstruct your keys. Binance founder and CEO Changpeng Zhao chimed in on Gupta's thread. So the seed can leave the device now. Sounds like a different direction than your keys never leave the device. As the community reaction continued, Ledger hosted a Twitter space to address questions and concerns, laying out their plans to remedy continuous issues. The discussion revolved around the push for more transparency in the form of open source code, software verifiability, and better communication of the product's goal and features. Ledger's chief technology officer, Charles Gilmet, provided a comprehensive overview of Ledger's open source roadmap in response to users' demand for the company to make more of its code verifiable. Currently, most of Ledger's code base is open source, but Gilmet announced plans to accelerate the open source roadmap further. The company aims to open source the white paper of the Ledger Recover Protocol, enabling cryptography and security experts to review it and developers to build their own shared backup providers. Additionally, the firmware that implements the Ledger Recover functionality will be open sourced, with Gilmet stating is a requirement before releasing the feature to the public. Ledger has made the decision to pause the release of their recover service while they work on refactoring the code, prioritizing transparency and verifiability to address the community's concerns. What are your thoughts on the Ledger Recover firmware update? Is it a good move that will help people to easily get back their lost recovery phrases? Or the believe me bro mentality should not be tolerated at all in crypto space and we should look for other hardware wallet alternatives. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. I will be reviewing some of the best ledger alternatives out there. So remember to subscribe and have the bell icon turned on to not miss the video. Also check out my Patreon page for more content.